Hey, it's Jeremy with DTF Superstore, and if you've watched me for any length of time, you know that I'm not a big fan of the term groundbreaking or game-changing. Well, I don't like to use it unless it's actually appropriate. And today, that's exactly what I have. We have made a big leap forward in color, both in accuracy and capability of our printers. So let me tell you about it. Back in late summer, early fall, the DTF industry started seeing extended color gamut printers. And I was excited about it until I heard the colors. And they were adding red, green, blue, and orange. From what I know about colors, I kinda didn't see the point of the red and blue, but that's what everybody was doing. In DTF, most of the ink manufacturers have pushed the cyan and magenta so close to red and blue, I kinda didn't see the point. But again, that's what everyone was doing, so we started pursuing that. And as I was testing and trying to make things work because a lot of ink was being involved in causing flooding and all these other kind of issues, um, I started to test and see I got my hands on some uh, extended color gamut machine ICC profiles and I was analyzing them, looking at them. I put them into the RIP software and when I clicked on a red color and basically said, okay, ICC, what are you gonna do with this red color that is 255 red, zero green, zero blue? The ICC profile didn't want to use red. It literally thought it could produce a more accurate red color with yellow and magenta. And so what this and a few other things did is just confirm my suspicion that red and blue were pointless. Maybe not pointless, but at least muddied the process substantially. And then just a few weeks ago, DuPont released their orange and green color. And now it was the only color they released, which again was confirming my suspicions that red and blue were kind of pointless. So I had an idea. I actually had this idea months ago, but everybody else was doing RGBO, so I decided to go on that train. What two other colors could I add to the mix? After a lot of testing, a lot of tweaking, I wanna introduce you guys to what we're calling Hi-Fi Color at DTF Superstore. This is a combination of an ink set, RIP software, ICC, and printer. We're using your standard CMYK. We're adding orange and green, because those are two colors that are really tough to mix with CMYK. And uh, we've successfully extended the gamut a lot. But the other two colors are fluorescent yellow and fluorescent magenta. We have been able to successfully integrate those two fluorescent colors with the rest of the standard colors in an ICC profile. One of my main beefs right now with the advertising of extended color gamut printers is they're showing off images that are optimized to look amazing with that printer. Uh, and I know because I've done the same thing with my printers here. Uh, but what I'm going to show you are some images that I've pulled from a variety of sources, some sample prints from customers, uh, different things like that, to give you an idea of the full capability of this printer. And while I'm doing that, I'm gonna explain the benefits of this Hi-Fi color at DTF Superstore. First off, you're gonna get more colors. Just, it's a wider gamut built into that ICC because of the extra colors. We're seeing results that are closer to RGB than anything we've ever seen in the industry. Especially in the bright greens, bright yellows, bright magentas. And I think this is one of the biggest hurdles for you DTF producers and your end user customer when they don't understand the difference between RGB coming off a computer screen like you're watching me now versus subtractive color that goes onto a shirt. Troublesome colors like golds and teals are being reproduced with far more accuracy. We're also getting brighter colors, bright pinks, bright greens. They're just popping off the shirt. We're also seeing a lot less graininess in colors that traditionally we've seen a lot of graininess. Think pastels, uh, flesh tones, things of that nature. We're, we're seeing hardly any grain. Look at this, this image here. You're seeing like no grain whatsoever. And I've printed this image on other machines and it's been a little bit grainy. And because of us using two fluorescents in the mix, you can now create graphics that have full colors plus like a fluorescent in there. So if you wanted to create a logo where the image was full color, but the text was just a specific fluorescent, maybe a fluorescent green, you could create a spot color that is 
fluorescent yellow with a little bit of cyan mixed into it, giving you a fluorescent green. So we have given you the full capability of having a standard CMYK printer and a fluorescent printer all in one. Finally, the really exciting thing is Pantone matching. I matched these 10 Pantone colors with my Pantone book in less than five minutes. Now to do this, you do have to have a good spectrophotometer like the X-Rite, but it is fully automated in this process where you scan the color you want and it reproduces it. I will go into more depth in some future videos as I explain more about this Hi-Fi color. If you are interested in purchasing a Hi-Fi color machine or you have more questions, send me an email, jeremy at dtfsuperstore.com. We can do this with any of our three head machines. We do actually have a few three print head printers. And with our six head printers, our what was traditionally our Coyote, we can do that with the six head as well. So we do have a few of those printers available. Reach out to us if you are interested. Thanks for watching. And this is gonna be exciting.